Hi, this is Phil Stone and this is the Phil Stone Training Series. This video is on keyword research. We're going to go through the basics of what it's all about, why it's there, and then we're actually going to take a look at a keyword tool and show you how it's done. Just the basics, very short video. Putting anything up on the internet is like putting a message in a bottle, throwing it out to sea, and hoping somebody's going to find it. There's a huge world out there. People are looking for information and on the internet they search for it. That's the key. How many searches? Look at this. 15 billion searches per month. It's growing by the day. So, how do you make it easy for those people to find you? Well, bottom line is keywords. Keywords are the words people type into the search boxes when they look for information online. Keywords are the words that the search engines key on when they go through everything to try to categorize all the content that they offer. So, if you want to have people find you, you've got to use keywords, period. What's the biggest mistake that internet marketers make? Guessing at keywords. Simple as that. I've done it. And you need keywords all the time. And when do you need them? Look at this. When you write an article, if you want that article to be found, you need to have keywords in the titles. In the body of the article, post, copy, I mean, you need to use keywords all the time. When you're writing comments, you can actually use keywords there as well. Help people find out what you're all about. Help to drive traffic. Advertising copy, absolutely. Keywords everywhere. Picture titles. You need to title your pictures with keywords. When you're writing your personal profiles for LinkedIn, YouTube, all that kind of stuff, you need to key on keywords. Naming websites, that's a big one as well. You name the website with a keyword rich URL, you can be found for that URL. There's so much more. I mean, really, anything that you put up online, when you're posting anything on the internet, keywords are what you need to use to help you get found. Search engines categorize everything, obviously, to give relevant results. If you type in dog treats, you want to be able to go someplace and get dog treats. The more relevant the results, the more you like that search engine. That's how Google has done so incredibly well and dominated. And think about it, even the social networking sites, they have their own built-in search systems. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, all of them. There are search boxes everywhere. So the first thing you got to do is choose a keyword tool. There's a bunch of them out there. Market Samurai is one. I use the keyword tool inside of SE NUCX. This is a great program. Does a lot, a lot of things. And that's just one of the small pieces within it. But it's not a cheap thing. You can try it free. And as a matter of fact, if you want to find out about it, go to my site, philipjstone.com. Remember, there's two L's in Philip, forward slash super dash tools, forward slash. I have a list of some of the most impressive online marketing tools that I have found that I use to be able to make everything work for me. This is just one of them in the list, so check that out if you'd like. Now, one thing, Google AdWords has a free tool. This is the URL to get it, adwords.google.com forward slash select forward slash keyword tool external. You type that in, you can go right there, and you can do keyword research. You set up an account with Gmail, you log in, you even get more information. Now, if you use the WordPress plugin that I have, if you have a WordPress blog, first of all, and you use the WordPress SEO plugin, you can get to your Google AdWords account right through the taskbar. Hover over SEO and hover over keyword research and there you are right there. In addition, it does a lot of other things too. You take a look, if you hover over analyze this page, you can check all kinds of things. If you hover over SEO settings, you have all kinds of options there as well. You want to find out about that and the bunch of plugins that I have listed, philipjstone.com forward slash top dash WordPress dash plugins forward slash lots of stuff there this one is towards the end of the list because it's alphabetical so it's WordPress SEO you'll find it there okay I've logged into my Google AdWords account and actually registered so let's try something I typed in the word keywords and I'm gonna hit search now my locations United States English and devices desktops and laptops you can change those filters if you choose let's hit search Keywords, 1,830,000 searches, cost per click, 264. So this is something it says it doesn't have a lot of competition. But I would imagine with that number of searches, that particular word is difficult. Long tail keywords or, or groupings of words typically are going to give you a much more targeted market. So let's take a look down here. Uh, Google Keywords, 
that's not terribly bad. I can check this if I choose to. Um, keyword search tool, lots of competition for that, not a lot of searches. Keyword search, medium, keyword tool, medium, Google keyword, similar to what we had up above. So we can actually go for both of those and put the words in a, an article both ways and actually hit both of those. Keyword research tools over here, high competition, reasonable numbers of searches. You can see the high competition just by the cost per click. That'll give you an indication right there. I mean, if you take a look at this, that's going to be low competition because it doesn't cost much. This one you would think would be higher competition, but it's actually listed as low. That seems to be inconsistent. And that's something you have to kind of work through here. Keyword research tool, best keyword tool, keyword traffic estimator, keyword optimization, high competition, not a lot of searches. Now here's the one right here, Google keyword research. I don't see the word research anywhere else in here, so let me go up to the top and add that just to see what happens. I'll search for both of those at the same time. Keyword research, 165,000 global monthly searches, local, cost per click, medium competition, so it's more competitive according to this than this one. Keeping in mind that you kind of have to balance what you find here with what you find over here. This is interesting. I would think that how to do keyword research would be searched a lot more than 1,900 times in global search. A thousand local, I would think that that would be higher. And that's one of the reasons why you do this. Keyword research tools, high, high. All the competition is very high in all these things. Now this is interesting. AdWords keyword tool. Who would ever think that that would be something that was searched a lot? Low competition, lots of people looking for it. Really very competitive as far as the cost per click. Well, what we can do here, let's take a look at this. We'll click on this, another window will open. And that's where we are. Now, of course, the Google AdWords is the first one there. See this one? This guy obviously did keyword research before he put this thing together, or she put this thing together, because they use the exact words here, exact words here, and twice in the line. Interesting. And it shows up right after Google. That's the kind of thing that you discover here. I mean, realistically, if you copy this method, chances are you can build your article to that level of success in this particular thing. Not uh, terribly competitive. As you can see, this one's got the exact ones in it. And then right here, it's in this title, but it's not here in the meta description. Same thing here. There's a bunch of them you've got to compete with that got the exact things in there. So obviously, these people have done their research. But it's not the whole the whole screen. You actually it drops off right at, right out in here. So feasibly you could put an article together, AdWords keyword tool, and actually have that come out and be something that you get in this first page here. Then you're not paying what these guys are. You're thinking that the cost per click is four twenty eight. That would be something that would be worth doing. That's the reason why you do keyword research, to find things like that, to find opportunities like that. External keyword tool, that would be another one. See, the word research that we discovered in the first search really changes the dynamics of the results and gives us more opportunity to find things that we can key on. Notice here, AdWords keyword tool, AdWord keyword tool, AdWords and AdWords. So this is another one. You could use both and make some of that plural and some of it singular when you're writing the article. Now, if I want to, I can go up here and I have three selected. I can just click on that and I can download that and save it in an Excel spreadsheet. It'll give me all the basic information, the numbers and all that stuff, and I can use that to save so I can do keyword research on a number of things in one event and get different Excel spreadsheets to be able to work off of. So that's an example of keyword research. Okay, so we come back from doing our keyword research, and let's say we decide to use the words AdWords Keyword Tool. We found that it was a very viable thing. Lots of people search it, not a lot of competition. 
you got to ask yourself this. Why are people searching for this? What are they expecting? You have to go through this process as well because if you don't, you're missing the tail end of your research. I mean, think about it. They could be just looking for the link. They could be looking for how-to information, how to use the AdWord keyword tool. Maybe they're looking for automation. You think through the list of things that they probably are looking for and then you make your article or your post have relevance to that. This would be really simple. I mean, if you think about it, if you're writing an article, you're going to title it AdWords Keyword Tool. You probably want to include the link in that article. You would want to include how-to information and you'd also want to include links to automation. If you had all that, you'd really be covering your bases. That's the final part of the keyword research that you have to do. I mean, there's so much to keyword research, well, well beyond what we've been able to do here. Everything online can get awfully deep and complicated, but uh, this hopefully has been a good basis for you. Lots more information at philipjstone.com. We'll see you there. Bye-bye.